Hello everyone and welcome back to The Gaming Droid and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Um, as always I'm sort of rapidly doing things because I don't want to... I need concrete to reinforce that pillar, that's nasty. Um, I'm rapidly doing things because I don't want to waste any time just kind of standing here and chatting. Not that it's a waste of time to chat with you people, but, you know, things got to be done. So, that I think is a source of water over there. I'm just going to go and check that quickly. Am I headed in the right direction? It is over around here, so... Uh, because you need to find a source of water early on, um, because you do need to actually have a, a source of water. Scrap that. Craft one of those and one of those. Meanwhile, head in this direction, pick up some small stones. You can break things with your fist, like uh, larger things like trees, but it just takes a ridiculous amount of time. So always pick up the little stones. Um, you can just grab uh, plant fiber and the little wooden bushes with your hands, though, without any worries. You don't want to leave yourself walking around at zero stamina, so don't hold run forever, because the longer you are at zero stamina, the more likely you are to get a wellness drop, as far as I'm aware. And wellness determines your maximum stamina and your maximum health. You can improve it by um, eating specific things. You can get vitamins, you can eat hearty meals, um, you can eat good food uh, rather than tinned food. Oh wow, I really overshot it. So where's that um, black mark? Is that literally just the little pit over here? If so, then that's really disappointing because that's... Ooh. Damn, too far away. Come on, piggy. Come on. Wow, you really... Oh, he bled to death. Lovely. That sounds like a horrible thing to say. He bled to death lovely, but um, it's useful for me. Because that means I get free piggy. But yes, I do need to go hunting for a source of water soon. I do have a few block, uh, bottles of water, but... Um, This is a good way to check if you've got zombies nearby. You just occasionally let go and let the detected undetected come up. And you see, by using a blade to cut this person up, this piggy up, I'm gaining blade skill. Um, it's only using specific tools and specific things that you can actually get skill. So it's worth using the right tool to cut up things because you do get a little bit of skill from it. Yeah, that's just that pit there. Usually water is lower down, so I'll probably run down here and see if I can't find some water down here. However, I do find, slide down the hill, some, that's doing, what, eight a hit. This is doing seven a hit. So yeah, this is the better mining tool for this. It's a uh, pile of lead. So that's actually quite useful. Lead can be used for all the things you'd expect lead to be used for, bullets and things like that. I could do with some more steel, some more iron, because I need to make an anvil before I can actually craft anything super useful. Um, but for now, let's just carry on our way. Always raid uh, bird nests because feathers are the, the biggest thing when it comes to um, making arrows. Scrap stuff that is just scrap. There are things that are scrap like trophies, doorknobs, um, things like that. Ooh, goldenrod. Goldenrod is useful. Goldenrod stops dysentery. Let's grab some goldenrod and some um, cotton just to make some things. Got another rubbish bag, a bit of wood. So far, we're not having much luck finding water down here. We have found another zombie, though. So this is going to probably be the thing that kind of makes this house useless, is that uh, there's no real water supply around here. Hey, Tweaker. Ooh, that 
got some proper boots, some proper worksman's boots. That's good. I've been quite lucky this time around. A gun and work boots early on. So you can see it does have a little bit of pop in, but oh, water! Aha! So there's water down this direction. Okay, that's good to know. What are you? Your lead. You're just going to be stone. So it's good to find water early on. This means that I'll be able to use my base as a good base of operations early. I'm probably just going to fight the zombies that come tonight, because the first night doesn't give you many zombies, and I haven't quite set up my base yet, but I'll probably be okay to hold a little bit of combat. Hmm, that's a water puddle. You can raid cars. Uh, cars can also technically, technically explode, pardon me can also technically explode. A nail gun. Holy heck, this has been a good start. A pistol and a nail gun early. Nail guns, surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, fire nails, which is one of the few kind of ammunitions you can make pretty much instantly. Uh, what don't I want to carry? Um, I suppose I could turn these into, bow into shivs and then drop them, because I don't really need multiple shivs. Bye, 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 bye. And I will grab a gas can and some duct tape which can be used to make medical items. And now what I'll do is I will switch over to my glass jars and scoop up some water. So this is dirty water and dirty water has a, if I show you, a 50% chance of giving you dysentery. Um, but it can remove the burning stat. Um, the issue with dysentery, of course, is dysentery can kill you, uh, left untreated for too long. There's one shot. Uh, he ran. Leave him to calm. There we go. So you can sometimes risk them dying just of um, the bleeding wounds, but uh, I prefer to make sure they go down. So when they stop running, just hit them with a second arrow. I found myself a nice little place here. Um, it's got a pre-built start to a man trap. It's got a forge. We've got a second floor. Um, it is made of stone on the base floor, which means that I can't reinforce it easily. But that doesn't matter. And I've got a source of water. Some bones lying on the floor. Don't really care about the bones. And we've got a decent uh, decent source of food. Animals are reasonably plentiful. So what I'll do is I'll head back to my home. Ooh, yucca seeds. Yucca seeds are quite good. Dirt. Don't need dirt. Grab some yucca instead. So tonight's going to be a bit of a rough night because the zombies are going to come after me and... There's nothing much I can do about that, because uh, I haven't set up any traps or anything. I'm just going to have to deal with them. I do have a pistol with some ammunition in it, which will be quite useful. Um, but I do want to just kind of do my best to survive, I suppose. So get rid of the meat, yucca seeds, snow breeze and eggs, hide, rotting flesh, uh, chrysanthemums, cotton, nitrite powder... get rid of this rubbish on the floor. Sometimes it gives you paper. There we go, got a paper from it. So, door. Secure wood door. There we go, reinforced with iron. We can pop our torch down upstairs and we can reinforce this door. Is this door locked? So I'll just replace it quickly. And we will make another secure wood door. I've got enough iron for me to reinforce this one as well. There we go. 
We've got a lot of windows that need reinforcing up here, but it's more important to reinforce the windows downstairs first. You might say, how am I reinforcing windows doing that? Because I'm replacing them with frames. Bump. And... Bump. Let's bring a... actually no, let's take all of our tallow and let's cook up our tallow on the fire. Uh, we need to put a little bit of wood on the fire. And also we need a cooking pot. Damn, that's the thing that's kind of delaying me at the moment. That's the thing that is my um, limiter at the moment, is the cooking pot. At least we have a nice electric light out here. So the night is a time for sort of crafting and getting things set up. Um, I'm going to craft another 19 hours. It uses up most of my stone, but I don't mind that too much. I'm also going to craft myself some storage. Just going to craft myself a storage box to start with. So that little sound that just played, that sound means that the zombies are now in hunting mode. They can run, they're quite dangerous, um, and basically they will start sort of looking for your character and trying to hunt your character down. They'll look for the easiest route to get to your character, which means that for now they'll come up those stairs over here and they'll come to this door. So there's my secure storage chest. I'm going to put it over here by the um, fireplace. So I'm going to put away gas can, the nail gun. Let's have a look at the boots. So let's have a look at the boots compared with mine. So I've got 434, four, sorry, 4323 three plus 1. These are 12, 12, 7, 9 plus 4. So they're very, very good at keeping me insulated. They give me some decent concussive and puncture rest, uh, protection. Uh, I think I'll probably switch into those. They do uh, make me hotter, which is not a great thing, but uh, it's not a terrible thing either. Don't need the paper, don't need the nitrile. The iron pipe will be useful later on. The murky water I need to turn into pure water, but again I need, um, and this is the big kind of sticking point for me, is I need to get hold of some, I need to get hold of a cooking pot. I wonder, can I actually make a cooking pot? This gets upgraded with concrete. It's not one of the ones I can upgrade with clay. So I can actually make a cooking pot. Um, it requires 25 iron and 5 clay and requires me to have an anvil. An anvil requires 200 iron. So actually, if I melt down some of the iron I've got here, um, I can then turn, uh, pop outside in the daytime, grab some clay, make an anvil in the cooking pot, and I can mm, do some useful things tomorrow, like making tallow to make some candles and some torches, some bottled water into some cooked water, and I can also make myself some bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs is one of the best easy-to-make things for increasing your wellness. Speaking of wellness, how is my food coming along? Uh, 6383. If I go in the refrigerator, I can eat straight out of the refrigerator or I can eat straight out of the fire. There's the charred meat. Charred meat is attractive to zombies, so you don't want to be holding it too much, especially not at night. So eat that. And I'm going to eat it again. It does lower my hydration, but that's fine. One more, and I should be 99, 100% full. And then if I drink some water. 89% and drink again. 
there we go I'm at 100 I've increased my wellness by one point and I've gotten myself back up to 100 food and 100 water so I'm slowly regenerating that doesn't need to be on so I can turn that off uh, melt down this and this while you're at it ammunition ammunition resources so this is the way the night goes it looks like actually there aren't any zombies around here so what I can do even though it is night is I can actually get to uh, gathering some resources because without any zombies about which doesn't seem there are um, it's actually safe <laughs> So as I said, like the first night isn't terrible. Just stop mining every now and then to check the detected. Um, the first night isn't terrible. Sometimes you get lucky and get very, very few spawns, or in fact, in this case, no spawns. Still undetected. I'm going to scrap this and make a fresh one because I've learnt uh, to be better at making tools. I'm actually like there is cotton here because there's cotton here I think this might be clay yes it is um, at night one of the things you can do is if it's got cotton on it if it's got like a patch of cotton and um, berries then it's probably going to be clay as always listen for the zombies and make sure you're undetected zombies come at you quick at night so this is a, a risky thing to do but it's not terrible as long as you're keeping an eye on what's going on, keeping an ear out. I do have a pistol and I can sort of start working on a nail gun tomorrow. Start working on nails for my nail gun because I'll be able to have an anvil out. There's all sorts of poison things and things that give you food poisoning, things that give you dysentery. Um, they're not completely useless like a lot of people think that the things that give you dysentery are completely useless and you should throw them away there are ways to cure dysentery there are ways to deal with um, food poisoning and things like that so although they do risk your wellness and they do have negative effects it's not the worst thing in the world to just accept okay I'm gonna have a bit of dysentery so probably what I'll do is I'll spend the next day day two setting up a basic man trap to protect myself um, and then I'll probably go exploring to see if I can't find another town, another city, maybe another base. I might even pop down into that cave on day three. So I'll spend day two reinforcing myself and, and setting myself up to be a better... Um, I heard something. Nope, I'm fine. Setting myself up into a better environment for uh, survival. Set myself up a little base. If you can get away with this on the first night, this is a great way to spend the first night, is crafting and just mining resources from the local area if you can get away with it. Do not do this in a city. In a city you're going to get caught and you're going to get crushed. But uh, out in the countryside, if you can get away with it, it's a great thing to do is just jump on, uh, jump out and just start mining resources. It's cool at night so you're not going to overheat. You're going to improve your construction tool skills which is going to allow you to make better construction tools which means you mine faster and it's also going to allow you just to gather those resources you need to get everything going early in the game because otherwise you spend this is this is four hours you would spend so or sort of six six seven hours you'd spend not doing anything trapped in your base so if you can if you can safely do it and you can get away with it it is a risk because you can die. When you die in this game, it's not the end of the game unless you're playing sort of meta hardcore. Um, if you, when you die in this game, uh, it takes away 10 wellness, and that's 10 stamina and 10 hit points. So that makes a big difference actually. That makes a really big difference to survivability and to your um, opportunities to do things in the game. I'm looking for another stone I can mine for um, stone and iron. And also, as well, the path coming from the front door, this path here. Because I want some sand. That's clay. That's gravel. 
I want to mine the gravel because I want some sand because I can make some more glass bottles with that which will give me more water. I don't mind slightly sort of impacting my path a little bit. A little bit more clay as well because you do need a lot of clay for your forge. And this increases your mining skill. Digging with a spade increases your mining skill, which is great. You can find things like military bases, things like that. Um, and military bases are a great sort of a great place to pick up uh, weapons and other objects that are like weapons, weapon-like objects. However, military bases often get surrounded by mines, which is a terrible thing. Churches are a good place to set up a base because they have iron walls surrounding them. Uh, iron bars, which means you can shoot through the iron bars. Um, I'm being really lucky on this first night. Um, you can shoot through the iron bars uh, and things can't get at you because they can't climb the iron bars. So I'll probably just continue with this. I'll cut back in if there's um, anything exciting happening tonight. But tonight is literally just going to be a dark screen with me mining and digging away. So thank you all for watching. This has been The Gaming Droid. If you'd like to help out the channel, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, I have another channel where I do pyrography. There's going to be a link to that on the end card of the video. This has been 7 Days to Die. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.